story this morning. NPS students and staff at the Wisconsin Conservatory for Lifelong Learning are going back to school today. It comes after gunfire struck a school bus, forcing that school into a lockdown Monday. Amelia Jones live with more on this end today, but also how it ties into this uptick in violence we have seen over the past several days. Suzanne, police say that at least one round went into the back of that bus that was outside the Wisconsin Conservatory for lifelong learning. And much like the shootings over the weekend, police say that this shooting was the result of an argument. Police say that several people were arguing and that turned into a gunfight. The bullet hit the back of the window of the bus. No one was injured, but the school did go into lockdown until students were dismissed using an alternate exit procedure. Officers say they have identified at least one suspect and are currently looking for them. Over the weekend, Milwaukee police responding to 20 incidents with three people being shot and killed, including a 13-year-old girl. Police say several juveniles were involved in the weekend shootings, many again a result of people using guns to resolve disagreements. It's disgusting, quite frankly. Like, no kid in this city or anywhere in this state or in this country should have to live in an environment like that where they can't go outside and play or they have to worry about being shot. MPD Chief Jeffrey Norman says that four arrests have been made, but many of the other weekend incidents still remain open, so they are asking for the public's help. Anyone with information is asked to call MPD or share a tip anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Reporting live here near 12th and Highland, Amelia Jones, Fox 6 News. Amelia